What's going on everyone? Welcome to another edition of Spinoff Golf. Hope everyone is having a happy holiday. But we have another disc review for you today, the Innova Crow. Now this is in its champion plastic and it's a really pretty pink color and has a purple stamp on there. I've actually thrown these quite a bit, but I wanted to do a review video, kind of give my honest feedback about the Innova Crow and the champion plastic. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. here at hole number one where you got snow everywhere so we are not going to be doing any run-up of any kind today uh every all the tee pads are covered in snow um but we're going to make do uh first shot crow and then we're just the baskets straight up the middle and then it veers off to the right for one we're kind of standing off to the side here trying to get some fresh powder underneath so i can get some grip we're definitely not doing a run-up today Good shot, right out there. You know what, I'm not complaining about that. That's a good looking shot, like it. Cool, we got a little bit of a cutoff shot here. Um, I'm gonna try to make it through, kind of do like an Anheuser around these trees right here and try to get into the basket. Ooh, snow is slippery. Oh, close. So here at hole two, um, we got we have a little straight shot, and then we just need to finish it left. Yeah, I swear our snow was like funner when you're a kid. Not so much when you can destroy your ankle. <laughs> Come back left. It's pretty darn good. We got it out there. Um, we're gonna have a a uh, look at the basket right there. Yep. Let me see if I can get an Anheuser in there. Go! Ooh, close. Looks like we're going par par back to back. It's like that any day of the week. Always bring a rag. Um, no matter what day it is, if you have sweaty hands, if it's snowy, if it's raining, bring a rag or bring a couple of rags just to make sure you can get a good grip on the disc. One of my goals is just not to, to fall on my face this round, to be honest. All right, let's see if we can do three pars in a row here. Oh, come on, Blaine. Here at hole four, we just got a straight tunnel shot straight up the middle. Let's see how far we can get up there. Okay. Um, that should be an easy up and down. When I usually used to bag the uh, the crow, this is about the distance I liked it for. Maybe it pushed up a little bit more, but like just like a good approach shot. It's pretty good. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get it closer. I feel like I can get it closer than that. Go, baby. Get in there. There it is. There it is. I knew I had it in me. <laughs> get up. Oh, man. Close. Your hole five. The disc is going to go straight out, and then it's going, I'm going to try to do a turnover shot to the right because the uh, basket's tucked into the woods there. Ah, I didn't get enough height on it. So we landed about right here. If I just gave a little bit more power on the disc, gave a little bit more hyzer and height, I think we would have probably got like 30, 40 feet from the basket, which is pretty ideal. But let's see what we can do from right here.
Okay. Blew past the basket a little bit, but I was trying to give it a little bit of a bed. Final hole with a crow. Um, we're gonna go straight out, and then to the left here is the basket. Get around the tree. I'm telling you what, that we might have a birdie look there. <laughs> So the end of a crow, what do I think about this disc? This disc is a really, really straight shooting disc. Like whatever, whatever line you put this on, if you put it on like an Anheuser, it's going to go Anheuser. It's going to hold that line. If you put it on a Heiser, it's going to hold that Heiser line. If you throw it dead straight, it's going to go dead straight. And then it might go a little to the right. And then it's going to finish a little left. Man, this disc has a little special place in my heart because I've been bagging, I've been, I'm not currently bagging one of these, but I've been using a Crow ever since I was a little kid. It, it's it's an awesome disc. Um, it's very, it's actually like, it's pretty small. Um, so if you have like smaller hands, um, it might feel really good to you and feel. Uh, I have bigger hands, but I, I just like this disc because like I've been using it for so long. So it just feels comfortable, it feels like home. <laughs> but yeah. The end of a crow. If you're if you're looking for a disc that you're going to be like in the woods, um, it's just perfect for throwing a straight shot or like getting out of jail. I can't tell you how many times this disc has like got me out of the thick, like the deepest, darkest places on the course, and has got me somewhere close to the basket. Now, um, now some cons to this disc. Uh, it, it it doesn't. I don't feel like it throws as far as like a buzz or a rock or um or other competitors to a small diameter disc the zone uh, essentially eclipses this disc um but like hey if, if you want something that's a little less stable than a zone this might be for you um i'm not sure if they're on the end of a site or if they're if they're being sold um usually i just i used to pick these up i have tons of these um, but this is the end of a champion crow. Go check it out today. Thank you for watching this episode of Spin Off Golf. And thank you so much, everyone that's hit subscribe and is following our content. I really, really appreciate it. Um, we are at, right now, we're at 100 subscribers, which is awesome because, man, like, <laughs> I love doing YouTube and I love making videos. So I'm just going to keep pumping them out for you. And as long as people are subscribing and watching, I'll be making videos. <laughs> but hey, if you would do something for me, have a happy holiday. And and we will see you next time.